So we've seen using some of the default built-in templates within Microsoft Excel. Now, let's take a look at taking our monthly budget and turning it into a template. Watch this. All right, so first step, remember the basis of a template is to build the basic structure, the basic layout, do the basic formatting, and so on. Have the consistent elements always there. So I'm gonna strip out the non-consistent elements, which is really the data. I'm gonna rip this stuff out. That's B4 to DH, just hit my delete key. I'm gonna take the months out, because every time I use this, it's gonna be a different set of months. And maybe I'll just put placeholders up there. We'll just call this month one and month two and so on here's month three so those are just act as placeholders waiting for the user to plug in the appropriate data so now I've got the basics of my document here now I'm going to turn this into a template and this is super simple it's a save I'm going to go up to my file tab I'm going to go down to save as inside my save as I'll save this into my OneDrive account here uh, it's actually going to change. We'll show you here. I'm going to hit browse. So this will open up my save as window. And typically when I save a document, it gets saved as a .xlsx or an Excel workbook. Now I don't want to create a standard Excel workbook. That's your standard file. I want to create a template, something that I can base new docu documents off of. So I'm going to change this from an Excel workbook to an Excel template. There it is. This is a .xltx document. I'll select that. Uh, let's see, I've already got one in there called monthly budget template. So let's just call this the awesome monthly budget template. This one's even more awesome than that one. And I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Now actually, before I save it, it did take me to a very specific location on my computer. It took me into the custom office templates folder. And that's gonna become very important here in just a moment when we go to look for this template and create new documents based on that template. So I'll go ahead and save. All right, and I've now got a template. You can see up above that it is a .xltx document. It's an Excel template. All right, so I'm done with the template. I'm gonna to go to file and I'll close it, get rid of that. Now, the next quarter rolls around, I now need to build a new monthly budget document. Well, I'm not gonna go file new and create something from scratch. I have a template. I'm gonna build this new one based off of that template. Watch this. I'll go to file. I am gonna go to new, but this time I'm not gonna grab a blank workbook. I'm gonna grab my template. Now let's see, where's my template at? Do you see my template up there? No template, there's the lone one. I got all those Excel templates in here. Where's my template? Oh, you know what? Right now I'm looking at feature templates. I'm gonna go to personal templates. And here's my two templates. There's my monthly budget one. There's my awesome monthly budget one. I'm gonna select that. And now I've got a new document. This is a instance of the template, template one an instance of that template. And now I can start plugging in the next quarter's data. Okay, February, March. So I gotta go, what? April 2016 and May 2016 and June 2016. Plug in the data and off I go. Here's 200 for rent. I dropped down quite a bit there, huh? But the calculations are all there. They're all ready to go. Formatting's there. My chart down below is already being built based on credit cards, but I've got the beginnings of my document already created for me, saving me time, making me more productive. Create a template. It's a simple save. File, save as, save it as an Excel template. Get that basic structure and you're good to go every time you need to create that report. Try this out. Create your own template, maybe based off a of monthly budget or some other document that you got, but try it out.